super, ow, he just bit me. Little bat. What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another video and today we are back at Triple L Reptile here in Oceanside, California and it's been a while since I did the reptile guessing game. If you guys don't remember, essentially I go pick one of, you know, hundreds of reptiles that are here and show you guys and you have to guess. At the end of the video I will reveal what each animal was in order. Uh, so it's kind of fun, you guys get to play along, I kind of get to play along because I want to pick. In the beginning stuff that I think you'd be able to get and then towards the end stuff that I don't think anyone will get. I don't think anyone got all of the animals right on the last video. Uh, so if you get them all right without cheating and watching the end of the video to see what they were, I will be genuinely impressed. But for now, let's go check out Triple L. All right, y'all, so we are going to start off with something that's not super easy, but not super difficult. So generally, you're just gonna be guessing like the species, what is the animal, you know, like ball python, uh, red-tailed boa, something like that. And then if there's a morph in there, I'll tell you that so you can guess that as well. Uh, but we're gonna start off with this guy right here. If you do know what this is, you, nice. He just peed all over my shoe. Uh, I will show you guys that in a second. Um, but I think a lot of you will probably get what this guy is, correct? Uh, they're super cool. Having some difficulty getting it to focus. I need to bring like a table when I do this. There we go. I'm trying to get you the top of his head, but he's, again, he really wants to check out the microphone because everything wants to check out the microphone. There you go. So definitely want to take a look at his scales. That's kind of a tell for what he is. Super pretty. Uh, from my experience, these guys usually aren't too friendly, but this one is really cool. He didn't try to bite me when I took him out of the cage or anything like that. Do a close up of the side. Go ahead, comment down below, take your first guess as to what this guy is. I'll probably end up doing like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine different animals. Uh, but yeah, this first guy, super active. He definitely likes to move around and they're all obsessed with my microphone. I've said that a million times before. But yeah, go ahead, take your guess for what this guy is down below. Hey guys, just wanna interrupt the video real quick, ask you to like this video and uh, please subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, let's get back to the video. All right guys, so next up we have this guy right here. So again, this one is pretty easy if you're a reptile person, pretty easy to tell what he is. Tail is definitely a big giveaway for these guys. So this one, uh, the species of what it is and the color, which is uh, pretty obvious, but I think you guys can all probably get this one if you're a reptile person. If not, you might have some difficulty. So I guess it could be confused with something else that looks a little bit similar. Super docile, these guys are fruit, vegetable, and seed eaters. Definitely crazy looking. So go ahead, take your guess, comments down below. This is the second guy. Absolutely gorgeous. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Mason here from Triple L Reptile. And hey, Renee here. Got my boy Renee. At Critters and Games. You know what's going on. Check out our SoundCloud. SoundCloud. You got the link, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can find us at... So next up, we have this guy right here who I managed to not get bit by taking him out. And I don't want to get bit again, but I want to get you guys a good angle on his face. All right, so this one is going to be a color phase guess and uh, what type of snake it is, what species of snake. Head should give you a big clue, as well as the slenderness of him and the length. You guys can tell it's pretty big. I mean, I'd say roughly like six feet-ish, maybe five. Renee, what do you think? Five? Five or six. Um, usually not the friendliest of guys. This one tried to get me when I was getting him out, but um, after I have him out, now he seems pretty cool, but I guarantee you if I got too close to his face, he would bite me. And Renee, who, I think you guys have seen him videos before, he's the one that's letting me film here today. So, there you go, that was close. That's what happens, I'm like looking at him, trying to talk about him and not paying attention to the snake. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead, take your guess on what this guy is. Uh, again, color guess, as well as what type of snake it is. You one more close up of his head. Nice close up of his head. The eyes too are kind of a giveaway. Super pretty. The next one was a little bit of a uh, project to get out of his enclosure, and he is definitely not super happy at the moment. But uh, you can see this guy right here. Very, very pretty. 
Also very big, I'd say three and a half ish feet. This guy is going to get substantially, substantially bigger than he is right now. And yes, I am wearing a glove. Uh, he is not happy with me. And I didn't want to get bit by this guy either. Not a big fan of getting bit. Didn't plan on getting bit today. You'd see super pretty like yellows, browns, blacks, a little bit of white. Close up of his head. There you go. Super pretty. Check his teeth out. I'm just kidding, but you can't really see them. But I promise you they are there. So go ahead and take your guess what this guy is. Like I said, the size, uh, right now he's about three and a half feet and he is gonna get, you know, 20 times this size, roughly, not lengthwise. Not lengthwise. Renee, you're telling me that this guy is not gonna weigh 20 times what, this, what he weighs right now. You're dumb. What, go ahead. Go ahead, what were you gonna say? You, you, said, you didn't say weight, you didn't say weight. I corrected myself and said like not that. length. 20 times the weight that he is right now, not length, sorry. I gotta be Mr. Technical with Renee. So the next animal is gonna be done by my buddy Renee, who you saw earlier. Uh, he's the one that said that I could come here and film today. Usually we film with Alan, who you guys have seen in the past, but Renee is gonna show you animal number five while I go pick animal number six. All right guys, so what I have right here is a two gene snake, okay? So we're working with two different genetics. So the first part is try to figure out what the two genetics are, and then also what kind of snake it is. So it's a two gene snake, so the genetics, and then the type of snake, so check this guy out. Look how beautiful he is. All right, I'm nowhere near as good. Oh, there we go, cool. So look at that. Get a look at the pattern, try to get the genetics from that. All right, now a hint is this snake will get all the way up to 22 feet. There have been some species that have been seen to get larger, but for the most part, these guys are gonna get roughly about 22 feet for a female, about 18 to 20 feet for a male. One more look. Beautiful. For animal number seven, I got this little dude right here. Uh, gonna have to get substantially closer to you guys. And honestly, I would probably not get this. Someone showed it to me, because I'm not a turtle expert. But he's super cute. Try to show you guys his whole shell. Kelsey wanted me to do this one. So absolutely adorable. Go ahead, guess down below. Um, like I said, I wouldn't get this one, so if you don't get it, don't feel bad. Super cute though. One more little close up. And for size reference, there he is. Super tiny. All right, so we're going two similar animal types in a row, uh, but this guy is super cool. One of my favorite kinds of turtles. Well, I just gave you that, so it's obviously a turtle, but look at this dude. See if I can get his head to come out a little bit. There you go. That should be the biggest hint that you need for this one, and honestly, I'm sure most people are gonna be able to tell what this guy is, but look at like the awesome reds. Another hint, when these guys eat, they kind of just go <laughs> and like suck goldfish in. Super badass. But uh, yeah, go ahead, take your guess for what this guy is down below. I think most of you will probably get what this one is. Let's see if I can get the focus on his little face. There you go. Super cool. All right, guys. Second to last guy is this dude who I'm 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 kind of proud of myself for holding him right now because I don't do well with uh, with bugs in general. But this guy, they are really really cool, and uh, if you know what it is, they have a very distinct smell to them. I can't tell you what the smell is because it would kind of give it away. That's one of their defense mechanisms is this smell and what they can do with it, essentially, if that makes sense. But yeah, super cool guys. Uh, I'm still kind of afraid of it, not gonna lie to you. They just, uh, they just kind of freak me out. But still super cool, better than a scorpion. Well, better than a regular scorpion. There you go, there's another hint. Ninth guy, go ahead, take your guess down below. Last one is this cool guy. I know a lot of you that follow me follow Brian as well. Uh, he has two of these, which kind of have two different names. Come on, let go. They also have incredibly sharp claws that kind of are curved so they can latch on to anything they want to latch on to. Like you guys just saw him grabbing onto my shirt. 
uh, but super adorable. They're kind of derpy looking. Like if you look at their head, they just kind of have like that derpy looking head. Insane bite force with these guys too. He's almost looking like he wants to like take a chomp out of my finger right now. Ooh, as he like licks it, please don't do that. So this is gonna be the last guy. Uh, my hint for you guys for this one, I don't know if he'll do it. We'll see. So there's your hint for this guy. Uh, essentially what he just did. That should be plenty good of enough hint as well as his looks. Sorry, he's hard to get to stay in one place. So that is animal number 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, now I'm gonna go through and tell you guys what all of the different animals were. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead, drop a like, comment down below for me, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn that bell on. Let's go through all 10 animals and tell you what they were, see how many you guys got right. This guy right here was the first one I showed and this is a viper boa. So I'm assuming a decent amount of you got that one, uh, but really cool. You can definitely tell by the scales that it's a viper boa and by the head. They have like a pretty distinct viper-ish looking head, hence the name uh, viper boa. Animal number two, I thought this one was pretty obvious, but this is a red Nigerian Euromastix. Super pretty, this one's really friendly too. Think about half of you will get this guy right, because I know half of the people that follow me are not reptile people, but super pretty guy. All right, guys, so this one, animal number three, is a gray adult Amazon tree boa. I think a few people will get this one as well. Uh, Renee's trying to make me laugh. Uh, I think a few people will get this one as well. Really pretty snakes, but again, usually not the friendliest of snakes. Animal number four, this guy right here, is a little baby Asian water monitor who is not very happy with me at the moment, so I'm gonna go get him back in his enclosure. But yep, number four, baby Asian water monitor. All right guys, so this is actually a tiger mochino reticulated python, so. This right here, tiger mochino reticulated python. So that's the two genetics, the tiger genetic and then the mochino genetic, and that's where you're gonna get these beautiful patterns. Beautiful snake, very tame, very calm. Love that about these retics. Not all retics are super chill, but this one, beautiful and very calm. Animal number seven, this little dude is a baby Gulf Coast box turtle. Super tiny and adorable. This little alien creature is obviously a Mata Mata turtle. Super cool, Brian has two of these guys. Uh, I love them, they're crazy, just like alien looking animals and seeing them eat is pretty badass. Animal number eight, Mata Mata. All right guys, this one, number nine, is a Vinegaroon scorpion. Super cool. Uh, kind of sketchy, but still super cool. So number nine was a Vinegaroon Scorpion. This last one is a monkey tail skink or a prehensile tail skink. Super, ow, he just bit me, little bastard. Luckily he did not get me that good uh, because again, these guys' bite force is insane. But I will not lie to you, that little tiny bite, I don't think it drew blood, but it definitely hurt. Uh, but that means he's getting aggravated. So I'm gonna get this little monkey tail skink back in his enclosure. Thanks for watching Dad's Vlogs. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time he posts. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yay, see bye.